25 News. This is Eddie Lewis reporting a special report. Uh, we have just come back from the scene of a plane crash at the South Alabama Regional Airport. Uh, we've got some footage here that we're going to be giving you here in a moment. Uh, just give you a little bit of update. That plume of smoke is the crash, the aircraft itself burning. Uh, it is south uh, east of the airport uh, runway there. As you can see, it's a very difficult area to get into, a uh, very heavily wooded area. Uh, deputies and uh, emergency personnel responding to the scene were unable to get to the crash site uh, with the vehicles and emergency uh, apparatus. Uh, the plane, uh, from what witnesses have told WKNI and what uh, uh, people have heard uh, as far as when the incident happened, uh, apparently the plane had uh, taken off from the airport just earlier and was returning back for, to the airport for some reason. And uh, one report said that they heard the aircraft uh, engine struggling and then the aircraft engine quit and when they came outside, all they saw was a streak into the woods and then the smoke coming up with a big thud. Um, they uh, were one of the first ones to have called it in. There was also a witness from the airport that was at the uh, airport itself that watched it crash and they also called in uh, the crash as well and then later took off uh, in an airplane to fly over the uh, scene to locate it for the deputies responding to it. Uh, as you see here, the ATVs were the only way to get into the uh, crash site. They were bringing them in, uh, many of them from all over the county. Uh, the, uh, again, the crash site was uh, Im impossible to get to with any of the firefighting apparatus or emergency uh, personnel uh, equipment-wise. The deputies did get back there. I understand that there were extinguishers and other things that they tried to use to put the fire out. Uh, eventually the fire burned out and uh, they staged on this hill that you see in the background. Uh, WK and I was able to find out uh, some information while we were there. Uh, we found that uh, the aircraft was uh, from a uh, out of state and that the pilot was also from out of state who has not been officially released yet. Next to Ken has not been or notified. Uh, WK and I also found out that it was an experimental aircraft, uh, one of the kit aircraft that you put together as a home hobby or something like that, single engine. Uh, reportedly at first there was possibly two passengers, a pilot and a passenger on board. However, uh, later uh, with talking with Chief Anderson that we do have an interview with here in a moment, uh, he uh, stated as well that uh, there was only one passenger or the pilot himself on board uh, and that the um, pilot did not survive the crash and uh, that the FAA was coming uh, out there to do the official investigation and the, uh, I believe it's the NTA or NTS or something like that, uh, National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB. So while all that's going on out there, uh, currently uh, they're setting up a command post. And uh, as I'm talking to you right now, we're going to go ahead and go to a commercial break briefly. And then we're going to have that uh, interview uh, from the scene uh, with Chief David Anderson from the Covington County Sheriff's Office. So uh, stay tuned with WKNI. We'll have more uh, information and we also got uh, still photography as well that we'll be putting up on our website at www.wkni.net. Once again, a single engine aircraft has uh, crashed at the South Alabama Regional Airport. One soul on board. That person did not survive the crash. There was a fire after the crash and consumed the aircraft and the occupant inside as well. Uh, the corner is on the scene currently, and a command post has been set up. And uh, we'll be back with the interview with Chief uh, uh, David Anderson right after these messages. Stay tuned. 